In this video, I'm excited to show you our brand new editor. The new editor is packed with powerful features that will completely change the way you write forever. Now let's dive straight into the editor mode. The editor mode can be accessed via the editor tab on the top menu. On the left is a list of all the available writing tools, or some people call them use cases or templates. And in the center is the main editor with a brand new toolbar at the top. Now let's look at the left sidebar. You can scroll through the list to find the writing tool that you need, or you can search using the search bar on top here. To access the writing tool, just click on it, enter the required information, click on the Write For Me button, and the AI will write the content for you. You can also pin your favorite tools to the top by clicking on the pin button. Now let's look at the main editor. The new toolbar is now located on top. We have the new document button, the open document button, and the save document button. And then there are three new buttons over here. The first button is the block outline button. When you click on this, the AI will write a block outline based on your title. Now the second button is the block intro button. When you click on this button, the AI will write an introduction paragraph based on your title. And the third button here is the write more button. Some call it a long form feature. Now when you click on this button, the AI will continue writing where you left off based on the last 600 characters where your cursor is. Now the best way to see how all these buttons work is to demonstrate by writing an actual article. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to attempt to write an actual article using these new features. Okay, I'm going to write an article about meditation, perhaps an introduction to meditation for beginners. The first thing I need to do is to write the title. Now in the old editor, uh, the title is not so important. You can basically name it anything you want and uh, it doesn't matter. But in the new editor, if you want to use the new features here, you are got to make sure that the title describes exactly what your article is about because the AI is going to use this title as its input. So the title needs to be descriptive and it needs to be more direct and you have to keep in mind that this is going to be the input for um, the AI. Now, um, I'm just going to type in the title right now and maybe I'll just try an introduction to meditation for beginners. So if your title is too long, you may find that it doesn't display uh, the entire title, but that's fine. The next step would be to generate an outline for this article. In the old uh, editor, uh, you need to come up to the left hand side, you know, um, type in your topic, generate the outline, and then copy over from the left to the right side. Now, in this new editor, all you need to do is to click on this icon, the block outline icon for a button. So I'm going to do that and see what it generates for me. Okay, a rather simple outline. Now if you want, you can actually just uh, regenerate another outline or another variation of the outline so that you can act you can merge you know, the, the best of these two outlines together. Okay, now I'm just going to clean up this for you. So this is kind of redundant, benefits is redundant, maybe this would be useful. Okay, so I think that's sufficient for now. I can always generate more if I need to later. Now, um, and then the next step is to generate an introduction paragraph for the article. Uh, again, we don't have to do it on the left hand side anymore. You can just click on the rocket icon, which is a block intro button. So you have to position your cursor at where you want the introduction to appear, and then you click on the rocket icon. So the, the AI will, uh, will generate an introduction paragraph based on your title.
Okay, so this is pretty good. So, uh, what is meditation? Okay. So perhaps this would be, sorry, this would be on top. And maybe I will have a header called what is meditation and types of meditation. Now, how do I generate a, a paragraph for this? Uh, I can use a block intros uh, tool for this and there's actually a shortcut in this new editor. Now, what you need to do is to highlight this uh, section heading here and then you click on the rocket icon. Now, what this does is basically the AI will generate um, the introduction paragraph based on what you highlighted together with uh, your title. Okay, so this is kind of uh, redundant. I'm going to remove the last sentence. I think this is pretty good. So I'm going to do this as a header. I'm just going to format this a little bit. Okay, I think that's sufficient for now. I'm going to go on to the next section, which is types of meditation. Again, I will highlight this uh, header and then I'll click on the rocket icon. And then the AI will start to type. Okay, so um, now I will try something new. I will try to use a tool from uh, from the search bar on the left. So I will, I will use a tool called listicle, generate some items for a list, I will type in types of meditation, and then I see what it comes up with. Uh, not really what I'm looking for, I'll try again. What are the types, the different types of meditation? Okay, so this is slightly better. I will copy everything to the right and just shift this up. Yes, uh, mindfulness, transcendental, walking, guided, breathing. Okay, so this is good. Um, now, what I want to do is to generate a paragraph for these again. So I will highlight this and click on the rocket icon. And then the AI just keep on riding away. Okay, so this is good enough for me. Uh, I'm just gonna format this a little bit. Transcend transcendental meditation. I'm gonna repeat the same thing. Okay, maybe this one is not really... Okay, I'll just include this. Um, so this is the next type. I think for demonstration purpose, I am going to keep it brief. I'm just gonna... I'm going to just have four types. Again, I just click on the rocket icon to generate a paragraph for this. Okay, so as you can see, the first paragraph is not really relevant because the AI is still pretty new. So I'm going to just cut this and paste it somewhere else where it is more relevant, I think. It's more relevant in the introduction. Um, but I have something on walking meditation here. Now, but it's just one sentence. Um, if I want, I can generate another paragraph. But I'm going to do something different. I'm going to click on the right more icon, uh, denoted by the pencil icon. So I 
put my cursor where I want uh, the AI to continue writing, uh, what it does is it will uh, read the last 600 characters before the cursor and it continue writing from there. Okay, so this is pretty good and it's sufficient for now. I'm going to generate the next paragraph on bre uh, breathing meditation. Again, I'll click on the rocket icon. And then you just type away. Okay. Again, this paragraph is not so relevant here. I am going to use this somewhere else actually. Uh, this is actually good here. What is meditation? So I am going to use the pencil icon or the write more button here. Make sure that my cursor is where I want the, the AI to continue writing from. And then I click on it, the pencil icon. Okay, uh, maybe I will try to delete this sentence and redo it to see if I can get something better. Okay, now it's giving me something of mindfulness meditation. Okay, so I don't think I need this again. Okay, so I'll just delete this and this is good enough for now. Now, let's move on to the next section, okay? You know, we already like 600 words and we haven't really written anything at all <laughs> except the title. Um, I'm just going to go on to the next section already, which is benefits. Again, what I do is highlight the section header and click on the rocket. Oops. Let me try again. Something is not working. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is good, but may not be sufficient. Um, I will try to write more using the pencil icon and see what more we can get. As you can see, the AI can really deviate away from what you want it to write. So um, basically, uh, you still have to control it by making sure that it stays on topic. So this is not really what I'm looking for. Um, actually, this is good under how to meditate. Um, now, do I want to have more content for benefits? I think what I'll do is to generate again using the rocket icon. Okay, so this is pretty good already. I have three paragraphs for benefits. I think that's sufficient. Now, how to meditate. Um, I don't know if you can actually, you know, um, teach people how to meditate in just an article, but let us try using the AI. I will highlight this and click on the rocket icon. Okay, what I'll do is I'll click on the pencil icon, the write more icon. 
just expand a little bit on this. Okay, so as I mentioned just now, uh, your role really is to stir the AI in the direction that you want it to, you want it to go. Okay, so um, sometimes you it's better to actually uh, type in like an incomplete sentence before you you click on the right more uh, button, so that uh, you will actually uh, navigate uh, the AI as to where or what you should write next. So there's a first, second, and then I want to type in the word third so that you will know that it needs to generate a third point. And then I'll click on the write more button again. Okay, so this is not really relevant. Um, I think that is good enough. I'll just separate this into different uh, paragraphs. Okay, so this is how to meditate. Now I'm at 900 words, so I'm going to end off pretty soon. So I'm going to have my last section here, which is uh, meditation tips for beginners. Again, highlight this and click on the rocket icon. Okay, so it starts to generate all these tips for me. I am going to format these nicely into a list. Okay, and uh, I think that's enough for now. Um, let me see if I'm missing anything. Okay, now we don't have a conclusion tool yet. We're gonna have one soon, but I think we can try the uh, log intros tool first and see what we get. Okay, uh, it's not exactly that relevant, but I think what I can do is to write more. Okay, I think this is pretty good, even as a conclusion. Okay, so I'm going to end this already. Now, I have like more than a thousand words and I really, really only wrote the title and maybe a few uh, words of the haters and that's about it. The rest uh, were generated by the AI. Um, and, you know, if I want this to be more powerful, uh, I can use some of the writing tools on the left hand side. Uh, things like uh, FAQ. So like maybe some of the the commonly asked questions about meditation. Meditation for beginners, okay? So I can see or I can try to generate what are the FAQs of, uh, of a beginners with regard to meditation. So, you know, what, what's meditation? What are the benefits? The difference between this and that? What the best ways? How long should I meditate for? Um, so some of these could be used as the haters as well. So FAQ is a good way to generate uh, session haters. Now, another tool that you might want to consider is the uh, Quora Answers. So let's say to, to, to answer a question on, uh, let's say, how long should I meditate for? I just copy and paste it here. And then all I need to do is to put it to the right. You know, this this I, I could have like an FAQ section at, at the bottom of the page if that's what I want. Or uh, I can just put it as a section by itself. 
which is what I'm going to do now. All right. So there are some uh, interesting tools that you can use. I mean, it is not just you know it's not just block intros and write more. Uh, you, you can you know, explore some of these tools, and these could be very helpful uh, to you uh, in writing your article or whatever you are trying to write. Okay, so uh, that's it.